So we've just driven through an eye of a storm. We've left camper van camp out. We've headed back to South Wales to pick up some essentials. We've come up to uh, more, towards Monmouth and all of a sudden the sunshine disappeared and the clouds came in. Didn't they just? The, the road was literally like a swimming pool. So how Stu got through that, I don't know. That was absolutely bonkers. We're heading north. We've got a bit of something different happening for us now over the next week or two, haven't we, love? Yes. So, what I'll say is, we're heading north towards an airport. Whoop, whoop, whoop! <laughs> we're leaving. One week, did it? On a jet plane. Where are we going, love? Egypt. Guaranteed sunshine because we have had nothing but rain since we've got back from Spain and oh, we've had enough. Yeah, we have definitely had enough of the rain. It has rained no matter where we've gone in the country the last four weeks. It has bloody rained everywhere. <laughs> Let's get this holiday started. Yes, it is a week early, but we've got a lot of building up to do. We've got shops to hit, nails to do, things to buy. Man flu to get rid of. Yeah, you got a bit of man flu this morning, didn't you? You had to do a COVID test. Which was negative. It was negative. Thank Thankfully. <laughs> it's just beside this is blocked up. Ugh. So Whitey's gonna cook him a nice dinner later on, plenty of vegetables, get him back on top form, and we're gonna get in the holiday spirit. Yes, well we're actually gonna go visit our friends. So I'm gonna do some work on our mate's camper van again. And Charles gonna go shopping. So we'll both take you along with us. His and hers. Yeah. Week of build up. Good job we got two cameras in there. I know. We can actually record your day out and my day. Yeah, that'll be quite interesting, I think. Yeah, yeah. Let's go then. Who's the better vlogger? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so, education for this morning? Yeah, all of us doing the outside. Right, push that handle in. Right, pull that up. Unscrew that off and put one hand on the handle. You've got to lift it. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's, it's going to go over him now. Help him. No. Oh, I can see the poop coming <laughs> Yeah, don't show the poop. <laughs> Three kids. All right, so what you got to do now is put that in there and turn the water on. No, you need to hold your hose. You need to hold your hose and then, because it needs to go in there. Don't put it on too fast or it'll splash yeah, back. That's fast enough. Keep pulling down. I'll tell you when to turn the tap off and then you've got to empty it again. To be fair, Oliver, you're nearly 12 now. This is a very grown up job. So you know, now you know how to do it. Technically, you've got yourself a little helper now. He can do it for you. Oh, goddamn time. Two, <laughs> six years I've been doing this bloody toilet for. <laughs> how much does it want to make you use the toilet block, Oliver? No, you're still happy to do your do, do your do dudes in the cassette. The thing is, when we're on a campsite and there's a toilet block here, it's like, use the toilet block, it's a nice day. If it's hammering down outside or it's late at night, yeah, go use the cassette, but they all take advantage of said cassette. So I was like, well, look, you want to fill it, you can help empty it. Right, I'm going to head back to the van because I want to get it cleaned before we hit the road. So last night we were on our way up north and we stopped off at this campsite been beautiful here it was heavily raining thunderstorming and we were like let's just pull over have an early night of it and uh, that's exactly what we did so this morning we're going to head off up towards Stafford where our friends are Stu's going to do a couple of days work on their van because um, they're missing out on doing the work on their van next week because they've last minute decided to come on holiday with us so at camper van camp out last weekend we all decided last minute we were just going to jump on a plane and go and find some sunshine I think the rain has just got to us all and we were like enough's enough so this campsite was really really nice like I say we're going to head up there Stu's got a bit of a man cold He's been stuffing tissues up his nose, so he doesn't want to pass anything on. So we're going to go pick a campsite nearby. I'm going to go and do some bikini shopping and clothes shopping for me and the kids. Also going to go and get myself just feeling in the holiday spirit while Stu's doing the van. So it's going to be a bit of a funny vlog. It's just going to be a let's get ready for holiday, I think. And uh, we'll go from there. This place needs a bit of a sorting out. We've got schoolwork lying around. Blankies. I don't know. 
You've done some art of you. What have you done this morning then? I done a, a couple of rocks. So you have this. Hang on, you're a bit too close. Hang on. I have a few, two chairs, one umbrella. But when the ocean goes like this, so when you have this. Oh, that's pretty. So it looks like a holiday rock. Yes. Yeah. Pebbles is chilling up in the corner. That's his favourite spot. When he's in the van, that's where he lies. If he's not there, he's travelling in his little cutch corner, which he really likes. We've also got suitcases lying around up front. So I've got to move everything and uh, get it all packed away. So we'll do this then, Dex, and then we're going to hit the road. Are you going to give me a hand? Yeah. Come on then. So this morning we're going to go and do some clothes shopping for holidays. I'm really, really excited. I'm going to be taking Amelia with me and I think Oliver might come along as well. We're really, really looking forward to it because yesterday we were supposed to go and Stu's basically had man cold for the last few days. He's done a COVID test, that's all negative, but he has been suffering. He's been in the van for two days, put us on a campsite, which has basically just been a field. So we've not really been able to do too much purely because it's done nothing but rain. So I've literally bounced out of bed this morning. Everybody's run, run around riot. They're all now in their seats ready to go. Stu's just empty in the Elson and we're going to go and hit the shops. So I'm going to take you with me because I think it will be quite a funny day. The only thing I will say that is a little bit gutting is that I've had to write a list because I don't want to overspend, but also I want to make sure that I've got enough room for these clothes when we get back. Our cupboards in here, although we've got quite a few, and they're all quite big. <laughs> That's mine, stuffed to the brim. So yeah, and yesterday I spent the day like throwing some clothes out and uh, anything that looked a little bit stained or a little bit too small or anything literally just got chucked. So that's the plan. That's the downside to living in a van is obviously you can't have as many things as you want and you can't be too sentimental about the things that you own because you literally have to live within your means and space available. That being said, we're gonna go now, we're gonna hit the road, go to our friend's house. We're going shopping with them. So it's, it should be some fun. So here he is, look, he is up and about. He's not actually dying, although we'd have you believe he was. He's filling the water up, he's done the else, and we've got some rubbish to do, and then you're gonna go help your mate out in here with a van. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm gonna do a COVID test before we go. They just, I don't think it is COVID, it's just man flu. He's had, well, we did a COVID test three days ago and that was negative, so we're gonna do another one today just to be sure, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, I don't wanna go to my mate's house if I got COVID, so I'm, I'm gonna double check. That's a good lad you are, babe. Right, we're off. We're finally going. We're going to get to a pharmacy, get to do a COVID test. Hopefully that will be negative because otherwise that might mean our whole holiday is actually going to be completely off. So let's go get that done. Fingers crossed for negative. It was the other day, like I said, so I'm pretty sure it's just a cold. Well, I'm hoping now it's a cold. It's got me panicking actually. So yeah, we're going to go do that. And then fingers crossed for the negative result and we can uh, get excited about our holidays. Crikey, babe, how many did you buy? I bought three. Just in case. <laughs> Are they like just the easy ones? I don't know. Gosh, they've got it. £2.50 for a self test. Okay. Anyway, I'm banking on it that you're alright. So, uh, uh, so am I. I've got a holiday to, to, to go to, love. Yeah. Come on, negative result. Fingers crossed now. Come on now, love. It's been about 10 15 minutes. Let's go. Yeah. What is it? What is it? It's still negative. Get in, baby. Let's go on holiday. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, that's solid negative. I thought it was negative. I said Let's see it, then. I didn't think it was well done. COVID. But you know, it's like now, anytime you ever get a sniffle or a cold or the flu, you got to go check because the symptoms are so similar. You just have to check. And like we're going with a lot another of people. two groups. Yeah, there's, there's three, three lots of us. So... A, I don't want to pass it to them before we go or while we're out there. B, I don't want to take COVID on a plane and to a different country, so... Happy with that? I am happy with that. Negative. Hi! How exciting! So exciting. Let's go shopping! Let's go shopping. Let's do it, girl. Look how tiny that is. That's cool. What are you going to put in there, then? Your jewellery? Yes. Okay, and then you've got a big one for your clothes? Yes. Come on, then, lady. Let's go. <laughs> we're thinking of getting the boys as in the man boys these shirts now i think these are fantastic as does helena but we don't think they're going to wear them do we should we go for it and just buy them anyway <laughs> let us know in the comments what you think of tropical shirts <laughs> 
<laughs> how was that? Did you enjoy the shopping? Yeah. So how much did you buy? Did you get everything you wanted? Yeah. So I thought we did pretty well. We got three bags, three massive bags behind us, look. And it's about 150 quid. So happy with that, isn't we? Yeah. Yeah, and she got some extras. <laughs> Coffee time, babe. Yep. Let's and go. There's a Costa right there. <gasps> what would you know? Costa? Let's go. And Oh my God, it's just started raining. I've just fallen over. All the Primark bags have fallen open on the road in front of everyone. I was mortified. And now I'm sharing it with you. Can you believe that? Drown rat. So coffee time definitely is needed. <laughs> oh, I literally can't believe that. Look oh at it. Oh my God. Look at the hair. Look at mine. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> Oh, Primark, you need to stop dishing out paper bags. They're yes. no good when there's a downpour in Britain, okay? <laughs> no good. I'm just so thankful I made it across the road before everything just fell out everywhere. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be uh, nicking near washing machine, I think, and uh, doing some drying before we go. Oh, dear. <laughs> so annoying. Pick a table then. Do you want a chocolate? Yeah, hot chocolate. Lovely. Wait there then, mummy, go pay, yeah? Like, this is a proper cup now, okay? So you've got to be really careful, because it's hot. Can you get it? Well done. Enjoy. Right, so whilst I'm at my friend's helping him do some work on his van, which we'll show you later, I'm gonna repair something on our van. So this was actually one of our bed slats that snapped on like day two or three. I got up, put my hand down, and it went through the pillow, and I just went like that. So what I did temporarily, you just see, I've got like a metal strip bar and I duct taped it on and it held for a couple of weeks, but again, it keeps snapping the tape. So what we're gonna do, my old buddy Paul has a table saw and we've got some plain pipe, which is all that this is. So we've taken some measurements of what this is and we're gonna make one of these out of one of these. Right, okay, so I've got the blade guard on. We've just cut it down to length, which was 78 and a half centimeters. Now what we need to do is the width of it needs to be 29 mil wide. So this is this guard here, this rail, has been set up for a distance of 29 mil. So I'm just gonna run that through. It's gonna be noisy. So I've now got the right width. I've now got to adjust this so that we can get the right thickness, which is 14 and a half mil. So I'm gonna readjust this to 14 and a half and we'll run it through again. Now got the right length, thickness and width. But if you look on the old piece, we've got little rounded corners, whereas this is square. Now I had a router on my block plane. I could round the corners on this but I haven't. So what I'm gonna do is put a 45 mil chamfer using the table saw. So I need to make some adjustments to this so that we can run this through four times, chamfer the four corners and make that look more, more like that. So there's the new one with my chamfered corners and there's the old one. So that one can go in the bin and I can fit that one in its place, nice and strong. Happy with that. Let's have a look at that face. Oh, he's proper hanging out. All you've got to do is give it a twist, okay? Twist it towards Daddy. That's it. Yank it the other way. That's it. Yank it that way. It'll come out. Ugh. Come on, girl. And if I get that on now, I'll have five more to go. What do you mean, five more to go? This one and she three down here. Yeah. Six wobblers? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right, that's starting to look a little bit bloody now. Get some tissue on her. Yeah. You're going to get this out this morning then? Because we've got places to be, haven't we? Where are we going this morning? Nails. Hmm. Why are you having your nails done? Trip. Trip. This is a big job. <gasps> I got it out! Good girl! 
Oh my goodness. Still five more. They're going to get big girl teeth. Okay, going to have your nails done. Yeah. yeah. What colour are you going to choose? You've got all of these here, look. Yeah? You let us know what colour you're going to have. Like a sparkly type. Okay, so these here, look. Yeah. Have a look at those. So I've made it to the nail bar and I'm currently in the pedicure seat. Really, really excited because I don't do this very often. So you can tell this is properly for holidays preparation. The media's in here. She's just picked her colour and she's having her hands and her feet painted and she's really, really excited as well. So the place is full. So obviously all of us taking it in turns. Can't wait to see what our nails look like. And then we need to head back to some shops because I didn't actually buy anything when I went there. I ended up focusing all on the kids and forgot about myself. So I've got to get a few bits for holiday. And then I'm going to clean the van out. Steve's also got to go and do some shopping. Oh my God, I'm rocking. It's a massage there. <laughs> go show your nails off, Mills. Show everyone. How nice are they? Holiday ready now, aren't we? Mine's got sparkles instead of yours. Yeah, I got I got plain and you got sparkles. Yeah, sparkles. Holiday ready, and we so. We even got our toes done. We did. <laughs> Proper treat. Good work, Dexter. We've got a barber's. I'm gonna treat the boys to some nice hairdos. They need some haircuts. I need haircuts. Yeah, you scruff. Get down there. <laughs> boys are in having their holiday hair done. Little treat. Can't wait to see what they look like. You look very handsome. It's nice to see you back in town. Let's see. Oh, a bit close. Oh, you look lush. Should we go and get some blonde tints in it for you now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at these handsome boys. Holiday ready. You look gorgeous. So we've been at our friend's house the last couple of days and we're actually going away to Egypt with these guys as well as our friends the Baileys and he's in the middle of converting this van. Now we did mention a couple of videos back that I'd been helping some friends build the shower and this was the van so we're going to go in and have a quick look at some of the bits we've been doing in here over the last couple of weeks. Now to be fair our friend Paul is a mechanic and he can take care of all the inside no problem and he's actually done a really good job himself on the inside he's done a good part of this himself but this was the shower we did now we adopted for this sort of quadrant shower tray which yeah had a few challenges but we've built some stud walls lined it and that is not far off finished needs a couple of trims they'd put in in like a shower curtain across here they recently tested it at camp of and camp out and that worked pretty well and then what we've been doing the last couple of days was we've boxed this up inside here is where all his electrics are and he wants that to be a seat and then we have built this is one of his kitchen cabinets that's where his sink is going and then we've also done that bench seat there now his bed he's got a nice little design on this actually now paul our friend is like six and a half foot tall so he's a very tall guy and he can't go widthways he's they've got to lie lengthways but they want to get as much space in here so what he's actually designed is you can grab this this cushion comes down and you can see there's a rail here and there's a rail over there and you just grab that and it slides forward and then they use the cushions from the two bench seats because there's going to be another one here that actually then go on here and they match perfectly the height of the mattress so in the day they push her in the cushions go back into seat but at night that pulls out and he's got himself a nice long bed now to be fair he's done all this himself he's done all the bottom sections He's done all the cladding, he's done all the electrics himself, he's fitted the boiler which is underneath here and he's done himself. So for a, a mechanic, he's actually done a really good job and we've just been helping tinker in it as we're here. So yeah, I had a bit of fun with it. He's, hi he's hiding, he's shy of the camera. Paul? <laughs> water, water tanks. Water tanks, should we have a look at the water tanks? Yeah. Right, so, oh, this was actually quite clever, okay, so 
as a mechanic, Paul's build has been very conscious over weight. Okay, he wants to keep it well below the three and a half ton, but he's also about balancing the vehicle, which is why like the electrics were in that front seat, because he's a big bloke and his partner is a dut. So he's put deliberately put the electrics with the battery on that side, so he's balancing the front. But he's also done something quite smart at the rear, I thought. And he's actually balanced his water tanks. So what he's got is instead of having one 100 litre tank, he's got two 50 litre tanks. You've got the filler here, okay? But then what he's done is connected them both at the bottom, but also taken advantage to use it as a supply and is drain off so obviously as this is filling it will literally fill the two at the same time and then these two up top are the breather holes so that when he's filling those tanks the air inside the tank has got somewhere to go to allow them to fill without being expanded and then he's done an underslung gas but he's got that quite close to the central of the vehicle as well and again that's to help in the balancing isn't it mate it is. done a cracking job yeah it drives all smooth you looking forward to Egypt, bud? Very much so. It's gonna be good. We got two days to go, two days. So we've been working on this the last couple of days. We've decided we're gonna have a day off today. Tomorrow is all about packing, sorting stuff off. So today we're just chilling. Charles taking the kids. I say the kids, the boys are with me. She's taking Amelia. I think they've gone to do some last minute shopping. So yeah, we're just relaxing now. Getting ready for our holiday. So hand luggage, we've got five of these. I've managed to get a couple of extra ones from Home Bargains for cheap, so they're for the boys. I've made a little start there with a couple of bits packed in there. One for me. This one's going to be for Stu, and then there's a big one there that we can use, so 22 kilograms. I got some clothes here to pack from yesterday. I'm not really sure about the toiletry situation actually, because I've bought these once a day sunscreens, which looked like they'd be really, really good for the kids because they hate putting sun cream on. I got a couple of those, but they're over 100 mil. So I don't know the situation on them. Do I need to put them in clear bottles? Put them in specific <coughs> suitcase? I don't know. So I'm not sure about that one. I got loads of multi spray because I got attacked when we went to Croatia. And yeah, I've even got one of those clear like pouches so I can put some makeup in. So I know the makeup I have to show. I think I have to show that when we go through, but yeah, I'm not sure about this sun cream stuff. So if the liquids, I think it's 100 ml you can have in your hand luggage, which you take on the plane with you. So that's with a clear package in? Yes, but anything over that has to go in the big suitcase that goes underneath. So, so I'd be allowed take to take these? Yeah, you're allowed to take them. They've just got to go in the big suitcase. All right, okay, cool. That makes life easier then. So at the minute we've got four hand luggages. I'm thinking maybe a backpack glove, do you think, for like... All the boy sandwiches? The boy sandwiches are cool. Oh God. Pebbles is going to the local cattery, so there's one down the road that's been highly recommended and I've looked at the reviews, they look awesome. He's gonna absolutely have the best time for a week. We are leaving here, Mon yes, yeah, so that's Monday, he goes to the cattery, so Stu can get a good night's sleep because he's been moaning about Pebbles. <sighs> To be fair, I, I don't moan about him. He's a good cat. I got no problems with him. He doesn't scrag up the floor. He goes away. He comes back. My only issue with him is he wakes me up every night. If you put him outside, after a few hours, he'd be ready to go, meow, meow, meow. So you let him come in, you put, put him in his thing. And after five minutes, meow, 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 meow. I want to go back out. So it's like, choose, mate. What do you want? He's got FOMO. So at night, yeah. he wants to come in because he's like, oh, warm and cozy, lovely. And then as soon as he comes in, he's like, nah, I want to be back outside. Pebbles doesn't really use a lead anymore. He does explore the local area. He's absolutely like a boomerang, comes back all the time. Tuesday morning then, we've got a transfer leaving from here to take us to the airport. We're going from East Midlands. We're hitting on a two -way flight out at about three in the afternoon. So we're really, really excited. The kids are wild. They've known about this now for about five, six days. And next time anything big like this happens, I'm not gonna tell them until the day before because Lesson it's learned. exhausting. I told you not to tell them. <laughs> The week before, <laughs> just keep it because they're wild. Yeah, they have been wild though, haven't they? So, anyone out there, if you're going on all days, don't tell your kids till the day before. <laughs> so, shall we go now then? Because um, the next time they see us, we'll be on the transfer to the airport. Yeah, that's an early morning one. Um. And we're getting at the airport. They thought they were two hours away from the airport. We arranged the minibus for nine to get there for 11. We fly a half two. 
turns out we're only 55 minutes away <laughs> so we're leaving at 9 we're going to get there for 10 and we don't board until probably be about 2 o'clock so we're going to have 4 hours at the airport to burn oh no what a shame yeah, you do like the duty free yeah yep, so we're going to end the vlog here and we're going to pick you up next time uh, next time you see us we'll be in the airport get super super excited so if you want to follow us along you know where we'll be mm -hmm.